The unofficial start to summer is off to a deadly start at area lakes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rick Marinon. Now we first told you about some of these incidents as breaking news last night on Fox 23 News at 9. A number of boating accidents, including at least one drowning, has first responders fearing we're off to a bad start when it comes to lake goers this season. Fox 23's Catherine James is live after going out to Grand Lake today to see for herself how well boaters are following those rules. That's right, Rick. We went down there and we saw people having a good time, but unfortunately, not everyone was on their best behavior. We saw people on boats not wearing life jackets and people on ATVs not wearing helmets. The Grand River Dam Authority reports two fatalities in and near their lakes and waterways in as many days. On Friday, they say 54-year-old Eric Peterson of Missouri died in an off-road area below Pensacola Dam when an ATV overturned while climbing a hill. The Dam Authority says the man wasn't wearing a helmet. On Saturday afternoon, the Dam Authority says an 87-year-old man from the Oklahoma town of Kansas drowned on the Honey Creek arm of Grand Lake. They say he was trying to step from a boat onto a dock when he fell in the water. Authorities have not yet released the man's name. The GRDA also reports two separate incidents that sent people to the hospital Saturday night. They say a boat collision on Lake Hudson sent two women to the hospital. Authorities haven't released their names or ages. And GRDA police is investigating an explosion that happened on a boat near Check-In Bay on Grand Lake. The explosion sent five people to a Tulsa Metro hospital, including a five-year-old. No names have been released as of yet. Now, the GRDA and other first responders, they want to stress safety while people are out having fun on Oklahoma's waterways. They say that you should always wear a life jacket when you're on a boat, and you should always wear a helmet when you're on an ATV. Reporting in Tulsa, covering news that matters, Catherine James, Fox 23 News.